Did you know you can update Confluence pages with Jira data using automated release notes app? Yes, you heard that right. I said you can update Confluence pages, not only create them using ARN. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can achieve that with a few easy to follow steps. Let's begin. For this, I've created a new Confluence template called Running Release Notes Tabular. I'll show you the template configuration. Let it load fully and you'll notice I'm calling it Running Release Notes Tabular and it has the following page content, which is the JQL section followed by two stats sections and static text. Now let me show you the content of the JQL section. What we are doing is now we have this JQL that's already there. Title is stylized a bit. Then you have certain fields selected and then you have the table layout selected. Now obviously the um, content of the template does not really matter, but I wanted to ensure that you understood what the final result is going to look like. Right. So what's going to happen is at the end of this, we should be having a page that updates every time this given rule that we are going to be, uh, create is executed. Now, uh, the reason I made this template tabular and not sequential is we already have a running release notes page that's accessible from our public documentation. You'll see this page exists for quite some time now and it has release notes right from 10th of August 2020. So every time there is a new release of the cloud version of ARN, the corresponding release notes are added on top of this page, right? So we are going to achieve something similar in this video, right? So we now have created a template. We are good here. Now we are going to create a rule, right? So let's click on create. I'll call this update confluence page. I'll keep the trigger to manual for the sake of this discussion. Obviously, if you had some other automation ideas, you can just come in and change the trigger. Now choose the add confluence action, choose the template that you need for this, right? So like I showed you, I'm going to choose running release notes, tabular template confluence instance. You can connect up to three. I have created a separate video, how to integrate that. We'll just choose one instance called confluence. Now you have to choose the space key, right? So what we are going to do is we'll, we can obviously find the space key here in the URL, but before doing that, let's create the page which needs to be updated. Obviously you do have the um, create or update action available. So let me just go back and show you the available actions. You'll notice what type of page actions do you want to do. So there is create new, then there is create new or update if exists. And then you have append to existing page or prepend to existing page. As part of this video, we are going to look at append to existing page and prepend to existing page, right? So let's create a new page for this specific purpose. Let it load. I have slow internet connectivity today. I hope that doesn't really, um, you know, impact the video. So let's call it confluence update demo, right? I'll just publish the page right away. Now I'll go back and I'll click on choose space. So here I'll look for automated release notes. Apparently 
okay now it worked automated release notes documentation ARN came up automatically now we are going to use page not blog and instead of create new we want to have maybe let's say append to an existing page right here we are supposed to choose the page space is ARN and we just created a page called confluence update demo let's click on ok and save this action right so you now have saved an action now important thing to understand there is this small text that you are supposed to enter that says dynamic section end let us read the hint text that says release notes content will be added before this string every time the action is executed leave empty to treat page end as the dynamic section end now when you switch this to prepend to existing page you'll notice the label changed it is now looking for dynamic section start and it says release notes content will be added after this string every time the action is executed leave empty to treat page start as dynamic section start right so let's prepend to an existing page first and then append right i've left the identifier empty the dynamic section start empty now let's run this rule for let's say august 2020 right maybe 10th of august 2021 i'll click on okay i'll navigate to the logs tab to see when the rule is executed it usually takes a minute or two for the entry to be available in the logs let's wait for it to come up in the meanwhile we can go on and update the page or rather refresh the page not update and hope that if the action is already executed we should be able to see the relevant content added to the page is going to take a few seconds to load the page i've just refreshed it in the meanwhile let's go back and refresh the logs to see whether the rule that we executed came up so here you'll notice there is update confluence page let's see oh so it failed because a page with cloud app running release notes all right so this has to do with the template configuration i should have changed the template name as well that caused the failure because in confluence you can have only unique titles you cannot repeat the titles so i just add tabular to the page title and update the template or rather save the template we'll then go back template is saved let's go back to the rules and run the rule once again we are going to run it for 10th of august it, sorry i just clicked on x escape we want the released versions so 10th of august 2021 let's click on ok i hope this time around the rule gets executed successfully we'll go back to the logs once again now we should see a similar entry but this time around the status should be success rather than failure so let's refresh this a couple of times while it comes still the failure is showing on the top i'll click it one more time 
okay now we can see there is this success status and you can also see there is this u that suggests the page was updated now let's refresh the page in confluence this time around we should see the 10th of august release notes content created as a table right it looks pretty neat now what we are going to do is we are going to run the same rule again but for a different version just to understand the prepend action so we are looking at august so after 10th of august we did not have anything so let's look at september then so 7th september 2021 that was the release that came in after 10th of august i hope there are some items that are supposed to be included in the public release notes so i've just triggered the same rule once again but for a different version i'll come back to the logs tab and i'll hope to see the new execution oh it happened very quickly 7th of september the page was updated let's refresh the page once again now we have said we are prepending it right so what's going to happen is the new release is going to appear on top of the earlier release right so 7th of september is here 10th of august is here so you can go on and have the running release notes in such a way obviously you can change the titles of the table that's displayed here you can disp uh, you can change the content and all of all of the configuration within the template itself right so this is how you prepend release notes within an existing confluence page now the other thing that we wanted to try was how do you append not only prepend so we saw how you can prepend now we'll see how you can append to an existing page again we are going to keep it empty so if you add any identifier here the text a arn app is going to look for that string and is going to add the new content after it or before it depending on which action you have chosen right now we are saying append to an existing page so what's going to happen is here we prepended 10th of august then 7th of september now we are going to append it so the new release notes content should go below 10th of august so let's go in and execute this rule for a different version that was there for september 2021 so after 7th of september there was 27th of september 2021 so i'm going to execute the rule i'm going to go back to the logs tab and just hit refresh a couple of times in there so that the new entry appears on the logs page I'm just crossing my fingers. The new entry has appeared 27th of September. Status is success. The page is updated. Let's go back to Confluence, refresh the page and let's see. You'll notice new version published message automatically appeared. I'm just hoping the action went through smoothly. Right. So you'll notice 27th of September 21 appeared after 10th of August. right so in this video we have seen how you can prepend to an existing confluence page or append to an existing confluence page right so the playground is yours you can create the templates you can create the rules and utilize the unique integration between jira and confluence for updating confluence pages with jira jira data using automated release notes app for jira Hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.